How very peculiar. The pickup. This is the bridge pickup. This is the neck pickup. Glad I looked at that because I had those backwards. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. This has been with Company Grip. This is just a quick update, but uh, I scoured the internet for deals, like I'm sure most of you do, and I found somebody that would sell me the Relish Trinity guitar, what they claim is brand new, for 400 bucks. So that's this here in this box, which I have yet to open. So if you don't know anything about Relish guitars, their main shtick is that they've got these machined parts that they're pickups attached to that are magnetic so you can hot swap the pickups in your guitar. I'm sure you've probably seen this and that's why I wanted to pick one of these up and I don't know anything about the company or their guitars which is why I also was looking for the lowest price one I could find and uh, I've got some cool experiments coming up in the future that I want to do with these. Let's open this thing up and see what it's like. <laughs> Here's the gig bag, it's a standard gig bag. It's got their name on it and their logo. Inside the pocket wasn't much except for this envelope. This envelope contains a postcard which is already filled out to go back to their factory in Lucerne, Switzerland. And uh, you're supposed to send them a photo of you playing your guitar and they'll put it on their wall somewhere. And then it also has a certificate of authenticity that claims that yes, they built this guitar, it was built good, and you are now the proud owner of it. If I had any pick of guitar color, this one would not be it. So here's the guitar. It's got the original strings that came on it. The neck has not been adjusted. The pickups have not been adjusted. I haven't even opened the cavity in the back and looked inside. The pickups, I literally just took them and slapped them in. Pickup height looks decent. So I plugged this guitar into this dinky Any Plus cable that I promised in a previous review that I would use it until it broke. I don't know what kind of pickups these are supposed to copy, if anything, um, or what kind of humbuckers they are. This is direct into Presona Studio One. <laughs> Let's go to the middle position. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's see what the neck sounds like. some drive on this and see what it sounds like. pretty good. I don't have all the tools to measure it like Trogly does, but it, it feels okay. It's a little on the slimmer side for me, but I, I'll adapt. It's not as fat as like a traditional fat Les Paul. Sounds good though. Tuners feel okay. Nothing, nothing special. They are unbranded, unmarked. Um, I'm going to guess since this is the entry level guitar that they probably didn't go hog wild on those. The body feels good, feels nice. The uh, cut is nice, the paint job is nice, the edges are nice, there's no defects in the paint job. Trinity seems to be okay. I know I got it at a bargain deal, but I haven't seen them for 600 bucks, uh, 550. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, sure. It plays great. Needs a little bit of a setup, but it's wonderful, and I'm looking forward to getting into it more and doing some more experiments and things I got planned in the future. So this is a quick video just to check in, and uh, I'll be back later next time. <laughs>